Hey guys, so today I want to talk about this Cartier love bracelet. Uh, my dad got it in 1993 and it's size 19 and he, and he gifted it to me a few years ago and it was very beaten up. I lost of scratches and it was very foggy and not very shiny. And so I was a bit reluctant in wearing it because I felt that it didn't really look good. And I actually wanted to buy a new one and get diamond with it as well. But in the end, I didn't because it's a bit too expensive, the Cartier love bracelet. And it doesn't really hold its value. But I decided to purchase a polishing cloth. And as you can see in the clips just before this segment, uh, the love bracelet went from very beaten up to in a pretty decent condition. So this is how it looks like now. So as you can see, it's pretty shiny. Uh, you can't really see any scratches. There are some scratches where the polishing cloth could not take out. For example, over here, you can see some. You can see some scratches over here. But aside from these, these, um, these less obvious scratches overall it's in pretty good condition after being polished using the polishing cloth and i had to push hard and rub hard onto the polishing cloth in order to get the bracelet to become shiny again and so i used the muji polishing cloth but i think there's a town there's a thing there's a polishing cloth called the town hall gold polishing cloth and I think that works better but I think in general it seems that the polishing cloth uh all the polishing cloth in the market work almost the same and you have to push in really hard in order to uh, make the gold look bright and shiny again or you could opt to use some polishing liquid which my friends actually told me afterwards that would make it easier to polish the the metal so yeah this is just look at the Cartier love bracelet and how it looks like after being polished up and I hope you like the video